Welcome back to my channel and greeting from Siem Reap, Cambodia. Now I'm standing on the rooftop of a hotel which is centrally located in the town. Cambodia was an empire for a while. At the time the country was huge. It dominated most of the part of Indochina. Its history goes back to the early centuries when Hinduism and Buddhism derived from India. From the 5th century, they started building temples. The first temple that they built, they carved into the rock on the mountain. Then it became shape of a temple. Later, they built freestanding temples our brick, letter right, and some sandstone. Those temples were built for Hindu gods, for Buddha, and for the ancestors. From the 9th to the 15th century, it was the golden period. Many amazing buildings were built at the times. Just to mention a few, Angkor Wat, Tapran, Bayon are among the most stunning temples. Apart from the temples, Khmer kings built water reservoirs, canals, highways, hospitals. Like in Europe, the highways to Rome. Here, there's highway from every direction to Angkor, which was the center of the empire. The project was something huge, something mega structure, something like building pyramid, Great Wall in China. Today, those temples scatter across the country. They have become part of tourist attractions. Today we are going to focus on some materials that they use for building those temples. Have you come to Cambodia? Have you visited those amazing temples like Angkor Wat? Some of you may have not done yet and you plan to come here. But have you ever wondered from where they got those stone to build hundreds of temples. Today we are going to explore the quarry, otherwise the place where they got stone to build those temples. Are you curious about it? If you are, let's go and join us. The quarry is located about 70 kilometers, which is about 43 miles to the northeast of Siem Reap town. We are going to travel on motorbike. It will take us about 1 hour and 20 minutes. We arrive to the quarry. Here is the name of the quarry. The quarry is about 70 kilometers from Siem Reap town, which is about 43 miles. And how far is it from the ancient city of Angkor? Well, it's about 60 kilometers from the ancient city, which is about 40 miles. It's called Old Tma Nap. O means river, Tma means stone, and Nap means uh, cutting, chiseling. The name represents the area. 
because it's from here we had to get stone. We had to cut the stone to build the temples. This location sits between a mountain range on the left side. On the right side is one of the temples that was built in the 12th century. It is called Bangmuli. And then to the north is another important temple site built in the 10th century. It's actually located at the cross engine highway that were built when here was an empire. The highway started from the center of the empire, which is Angkor. We am standing now is actually bottom of the river. There is some water here, but there is not much water at the moment because it is dry season. This river that somewhere on the mountain I just mentioned. The mountain is called Phnom Kulen. Then the water flows on here, goes on to some rivers and canals, whose out flow to the lake. Here is actually the river bed. In the rainy season, water flows on the bed. It's full of water all the way to the bank of the river. People will come here to swim, doing some washing, children jump around in the water here. If you look at the materials used for building temples in Cambodia, our ancestors used three main kinds of material. Laterite, a kind of stone, brick, and sandstone. For the earlier temples, our ancestors used a lot of brick and laterite. But for later temples, when the temple construction technique became better, they used mostly just sandstone. For example, ink work, takel. You see no brick. Behind the improvement of the temple construction technique, a few other reasons our ancestors used sandstone for building temples. Sandstone lasts longer. One. Two. Sandstone facade is smooth. It can be easily cut and carved. Sandstone is used for inscribing, for writing. Some inscription on stone remain many hundred years can be found in Cambodia. If you look around here, trace where stone cut into blocks can be found. In here, you can see stone bed was already cut like this into a block. It is believed that the stone blocks were cut in random size, I mean in different size, according to the requirement at the temple construction. As being cut into blocks, the blocks were loaded into bamboo rafts, boats, cars, whatever means of transport, I don't know. Then the blocks were going to need to be transported in the canals, in the rivers, all the way down to the lake, from the lake, in some canals and rivers, they will continue to be transported to the temple building sites.
thanks everyone for watching. Um, I have to admit that my knowledge about this story is limited, as I am not an archaeologist, I'm not an architect, I'm not an engineer. What I have just shared with you, based on what I have learned, what I have read, and um, if you would like to know more about the things, please keep doing searching, keep studying more. However, if you would like to know more about Cambodia, please don't hesitate to comment under my video. I will do my best to try to answer your question. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for notification of our new video.